Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here with me, Revamp Gaming, and today we are going to be talking about Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now, I know that not many much information, sorry, has been released for Zombies yet, apart from the trailers that we have been given. Um, but over the past few days with the uh, PC beta and Xbox beta out, uh, people have been going into the PC files, which they probably shouldn't have done. Um, and they've actually some, uh, uncovered some things that were should have been hidden, uh, but aren't no longer. And most of this relates to zombies. Uh, there's a couple of things about campaign and everything which isn't really that interesting, uh, but more so the focus on uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline and aspects of the game. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to get into is that there is uh, theatre mode references found within the game. Um, and you know, that's pretty cool within Zombies, so where we can go back and look at things that we've done wrong or done right, um, you know, we can explore things, and I think this would be good, pretty good for videos, uh, in terms of YouTubers and things that want to make videos, or just other people that want to make videos to share with their mates and things, to see what they found and see what they've done, um, but also in the term and aspects of finding Easter eggs, because I know Easter eggs within Zo uh, the zombie storyline, sorry, are, uh, widespread across the world you know everyone loves to find them there's so many to find uh, and you know most of the time they uh, uncover something really really good and complex and detailed within the game storyline uh, mainly and probably to do with Maxis and Richtofen uh, going on that storyline with Samantha um, and maybe even linking to back to Black Ops 2 Origins map or the previous maps within Black Ops 1 and World at War um, so it was found that there is going to be a sort of campaign story mode to all zombies which I think is really good because you know it'll give us a sort of um, a goal uh, to progress towards within zombies uh, you know unlike the other ones uh, in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 and World at War where they're just individual maps and you go on them see how long you can survive the undead and you know maybe complete the easter egg within the map I really do like that um, and I love to do that you know it's a great way for me to do it but uh, I also think that a new sort of story mode where you have to progress and you have to work towards a certain goal to achieve that would be really good within zombies to make you perspire or something like that to complete the map and you know to win it uh, and see what you can get back from that um now you know thinking of that you know there's links from world at war to black ops 3 zombies in terms of easter eggs and everything um and the dedicated storyline will mean something from World at War to Black Ops 3 because as we know we've been following the same zombie story uh, the zombie storyline now from World at War and you know whether it's going to end with Black Ops 3 or not I don't know I would I, I'm sort of mix and match between this guys I hope it will because you know it's been going on for quite a while now and I'd love to see what the end result of this is you know consider but considering the storyline only properly started if you think about it at the start from Origins uh, it's sort of that everything's either been a lie and it's all made up or that um, it's if you saw the bit at the end of Origins if you completed the easter egg it's all sort of a way for Samantha to cope with it all and then you will know that this is either the start of the zombie storyline or the midpoint of the zombie storyline I definitely don't think it's the end uh, because we have references to previous maps with the original four characters and we even have references to the mob of the dead characters as well within the shadows of evil uh, so i think the storyline is going to go on for quite a bit longer maybe even merging into bringing the original four characters uh, the new four characters which were martin rustman misty and the other guy that i can't stoolinger uh, and maybe even the mob of the dead characters um so what's pretty solid, we've got some pretty solid evidence guys, uh, that there is going to be a character customization uh, dedicated to zombies uh, and dedicated to like, you know, customizing your own characters and making your characters uh, to probably reflect you. Um, now this probably hints mainly for the multiplayer, um, which is understandable because within multiplayer we had this vaguely in Black Ops 1 uh, where we could choose face paints and everything. Um, but you know, to see this within the zombies or even multiplayer would be really good as well because it's just that own little feature like the paint job and the gunsmith uh, where you can show off, show yourself off to the public and the rest of the community uh, and just show them how you like to do things and what reflects you. Um, so like I said before guys, touching on the easter eggs, now this is something that I'm really happy to see. Um, it seems that the game checks previously completed easter eggs across previous Treyarch titles so that that's World at War and Black Ops 1, I don't know. But definitely for Black Ops 2, because there was a strong Maxis and Richtofen storyline there. If you did complete either one of them, uh, I think it was on Buried. Uh, you'd go into one of the rooms, I think it was in the courthouse. And you would go into the back room and you push this big red button. 
and you know uh, if you were Maxis then Richtofen would be put inside a zombie's body uh, with the orange eyes and the rest of them would have blue eyes um, or if you completed Richtofen's side I'm not sure what happened I just think Maxis uh, joined the zombies as well or something like that or he got trapped in Agartha or wherever with Samantha um, but I'm not entirely sure how it works at all guys but to see that there's something like that uh, within Black Ops 3 if there is and if it will stay in the game till the final release uh, would be really good because I would definitely love to see something like this because it just drags the entire storyline over and shows you that there's a larger picture to work uh, towards to uncover something great and I know that the Zombies team love to put these easter eggs in and these massive storylines and I absolutely love them I love to uh, work through them and figure them out um, but that's definitely something that I'd want to see uh, in Black Ops 3 as well. So if you do, just comment down below what your thoughts and opinions are on it and uh, everything, guys. And sh uh, tell me what you're looking forward to about it. Um, so we do know that there's going to be a rank and XP system. Uh, and, you know, we don't exactly know how it's going to work. Uh, it seems that there's about 35 levels. Uh, and, you know, I did see actually yesterday that... Uh, on Alia's page on Twitter, he has put a picture up of these, uh, so I will put his link down in the description to his Facebook page. Uh, so shout out to him for you know just putting up on Facebook. So I'll link it straight down there if you want to go and check it out. Um, and you know, there's about the badges change every about every nine levels up to 34, and then at 35, uh, it's got its own badge that's absolutely epic. And at rank one does actually have its own badge as well. Now it's sort of like uh, the Black Ops 2 system where you had the lines i think i don't know what the lines uh, the tally signified in black ops 2 but it's sort of like that there are some of them on the badges as well uh, and we know that from black ops 2 the prestige system it was a hidden sort of prestige system that could vary you could go up or down but hopefully with this new system in black ops 3 with it being prestige system uh, i'm hoping that you won't uh like fall down the ladder and i would think that they're not going to do a full prestige system like multiplayer does i think it's i would hope that it's going to be just a one to prestige 35 and you know you just go up these ranks but it takes you just that little bit longer um so you know more uh cutscene audio music audio uh, has been found uh from maps like the shadows of evil and everything and you know uh, it's coding that just and um, it's music audio that like for cutscenes to say what's in between what's happening maybe reveal some of the storyline uh but then there's also things like coding uh, that actually hint that we could be able to play as a zombie. Uh, now, if you know the turned game mode from Black Ops 2, uh, that was really, really good. Uh, it was pretty fun. But if the coding's not been changed from that, then you know maybe whether it's been dragged over or not, uh, we don't know. But it could could be a, a fun thing to do within Black Ops 3 again if it's anything like Black Ops 2. Um, so, like I say, guys, going back to that prestige system, the prestige system is unknown. Like I say, from zero to thirty-five, we don't know if there's actually going to be a prestige after that, and then you go into the next prestige and do one to thirty-five, or whether it's just thirty-five prestiges and you go up them uh, a little bit at a time. Uh, so, whether it's like the Black Ops Two system, I don't know. I'd like I say, I hope that you wouldn't fall down them with it being the actual prestige system, um, because I think that'd be pretty bad. Because it was in Black Ops Two, uh, and it wasn't really so a sophisticated system, you know. Uh, and with them adding a new uh, ranking system onto zombies, which, you know, I'm not entirely all for, but I think it could be pretty fun. Uh, you know, they probably need a sophisticated structure to it to actually let you work towards something within the game that's a lot, a lot bigger. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. It's just an informational video about the Black Ops 3 zombies, more leaked information regarding it, and, you know, I am going to be uploading uh, some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content, especially more with beta gameplay, as I did enjoy that. Uh, go and check out my previous two videos, which were uh, hints at Nuketown 2065, or just Nuketown uh, as the third Nuketown to come into uh, the Call of Duty fran uh, Black Ops franchise, sorry. Uh, you know, that's pretty good. And also go and check out my advanced supply drop opening uh, on advanced warfare. But guys, I'm Revamp Gaming. Hope you did like this video. If you did, leave a like. Also hit the subscribe button and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on everything I've covered in this video. You know, from the ranking system to the character customization, and especially the Easter eggs, guys. I always love to hear about the Easter eggs. But guys, like I say, I'm Revamp Gaming. Peace out.